Spark Chat. I'm Jackie for Founder of Office and Plugin. And just, just for how many of you knew that I was 16 when you decided to come? Is that <laughs> Alright, so who am I? I'm a student at Barrington High School. I'm a junior there right now. And I am a certified Pro and Go trainer, which means I watched about eight hours of webinars and took a test that said I know how to use the software. I also have volunteered at NWSRA for the past three years, working with different age groups, and I'm a blogger. So who are you? How many of you are parents? Yes. All right, and parents of children on the spectrum? Both of you? Okay. And uh, teachers? Any teachers? Any teachers? Therapists? And how many of you are using iPad already? <laughs> Being forced to because of all these apps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Office Unplugged In is the autism-related blog that I have. It's got different autism apps to help you navigate because there's 700,000 apps and a lot of people will just maybe search autism and buy the first five. I think later we'll did that. But these are developers contact me and ask me to review these different apps and I do that. And all of the profits that we get on the site are donated to, donated to OAR, which is the Organization for Autism Research and they really focus on day-to-day -day improvements for these children. All right, and first thing I want to talk about is just in general, the benefits of the iPad. So I don't know if some of you know, but the other machines that they were using for AAC were pretty expensive and you know, pretty bulky to carry mm -hmm. around. And so this is more <coughs> interactive and it engages the children, and that's really an important part of their learning is if they're not fun, then they're not going to learn. And I think that's true of anyone. If it's a really boring, they're not going to retain it as well. And it, it can be customized both on the outside, different grips kind of thing, and also within the app, you can really tailor it to the child's experience. And it's cool. Some kids are complaining that they would be made fun of, or they think that they're lesser, if they're carrying around the big boards, or things like that. But they're kind of the envy of the class now. They are carrying around this iPad. All right. So this this is just generally pro logo to go. It is one hundred ninety dollars because it comes preloaded with uh, a ton of things. I remember someone asked me if it had shish kebab already preloaded, and it does. It actually has multiple types of shish kebabs. So it's got anything that you would want. So you don't have to make your own buttons really. And it's made by a system where that's a company. It's an AAC app, as I think all of you know. And it does allow for extended customization, so it's really good for an individual. And you can put things on there that they would want. All right, so just a short video of what ProLoco to go can do, and I've actually loaded it already since it, the Wi-Fi is pretty slow. Oh, please. Two days after having the device, and he came, got ill. We took him to the doctors, and we couldn't figure out what he wanted. And we realized, oh, we have a device now. So we gave him the device, and we said, what do you want? Is this Superman? So he touches the device, and he says, please be quiet. And I looked at my husband, and I said, there's no way he knows what that means. He just got the device two days ago. <laughs> My husband said he's never been able to vocalize. Please be quiet. He said, maybe he does. Can you ask him again? So I said, Nika, you want mommy and daddy to be quiet? And he takes the iPad and he goes on to the opening app of Proloco. And he goes, yes, thank you. I'm sorry. And that's when we realized he understands exactly. He knows what he wants. Great. What books do you like? What's your favorite book? His progression in language and speech has been miraculous. 
because we started with just one word, and he is now creating full, grammatically correct sentences. The Pula quote has really allowed us to see how unique Enrique is and how, how keen his visual memory is. The keyboard, can you spell your name? He remembers where things are in the device and is, is able to access things that the professionals don't remember where they were. And he knows and he gets it immediately. You show him something once and he has it. Very nice. Can you use the keyboard again? How old are you? The other children at school, like they, when they were ready, they would pass by. They would always just cringe sometimes in fear. They thought that was a little bit like freaky and, and like a little creepy that he wasn't able to speak and now since he has a voice he's not afraid to speak to him um, just seeing everybody just care for him now it makes me a lot more confident that he's going to have a definitely better future he understood everything i have been saying to him for the past nine and a half years and thanks now to the role of water girl he was able to express to me how he felt, what he wanted, what he needed, his desires. There's no more guessing anymore. And that's that short video. I thought that was a good end. So you all have those opposite looking folders in front of you and just quick overview of what's in those. There's a list of my favorite apps, all of which I have reviewed on the site. If you think any of them look interesting, you can go check that out. Uh, there's also a list of iPad funding sources if you're looking for organizations that can fund uh, and get iPads for your school or your uh, society. And so that's there. And the program to go getting started manual is from Assistive, where it's got some instructions on how to use the application, so that, that's a helpful reference. And there's also a basic sheet that I put together with just a couple of things that you can do so you remember how to do it. And uh, there's also a thank you to the door prize and gift bag donors since we have, I think, over $650 of things we donated. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get started with working with the iPad. We're going to do these things like creating buttons, customizing options, color coding, text to speech, and more. I'll launch Pro Look to go. And I think whatever user you have loaded on there right now is going to be fine. Um, so the first thing I want to look at is kind of the major buttons that are on Pro Look to go. Some of you might know how to use them, but I just wanted to review them anyways. Uh, you see on the bottom there's these four icons. Bottom left one will bring up the different views. I don't really use that very often, but it's helpful if you're going to this typing interface, which is different than the uh, one that comes up when you press the keyboard on the bottom, which I'll show you. Uh, the grid is just the basic, all the buttons you have. And then here's the keyboard on the bottom, second to the left. And this has got really big, big buttons, because it's hard for some kids to press the small buttons. And the home button is the one you probably use the most just when navigating. It brings you back to the home page on the grid. So if you were to go into, say, drinks, and you want to go back to the main section, you just tap on the home button at the bottom. And this pencil tool I'm going to talk more about, so I'll just show it very briefly. This is where you get all the options for editing buttons and such and creating buttons. And if you were to tap on the pencil tool, and then tap on any folder or button, you'll see it'll come up with the blue, blue check mark. And then from there, you can edit the properties of that folder. If you see on the top of the edit button, there's these three tabs here. If you go into properties, that's where you would do most of the changing buttons or changing colors, and I'll do that later also. And on the very bottom right, unless you're using an iPhone. And I just want to say, if you're using an iPhone, you won't have this fourth options button. It'll be under this button, and it'll come up with a options comment there. So if you're confused, if you that. And the options, you can see there are a ton, ton, ton of options. 
but I'm just going to try to go over some of the ones that are the most important so you don't have to filter through all those because some of them don't do as much as they should. Alright, so we've gone over the major buttons and also this black X at the top. Some people have been complaining that they have to delete individually, but if you just double tap it, then everything in the box will go away. So if I just really wanted cookies and I just press cookie you bought it a bunch of times, I can double tap this and they'll all go away at the same time. So you don't have to always delete individually. And I just want to check that my sound is working for me. Thank you.